Good morning, students. I have some wonderful news. As you know, we will be celebrating the centennial of the Great Equalization. Because of our properly ordinary works, our community has asked us to show our bliss of complete uniformity. Be sure that your work is exceptionally ordinary, because any individuality is against our state and will be dealt with accordingly. Now let's begin. Jamie, I don't believe that's what I told the class to do. Can you explain your work? I... I don't know. Something came over me I can't explain. Well, I needed to get back to what I said. Otherwise, the authorities will be notified, and they're not as forgiving as I am. Yes, ma'am. Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. What did I say about painting? I'm going to have to call the authorities now. What? For slightly altering my brush stroke? That's enough out of you. Damn it! Oh, why couldn't I have just done what they asked me to do? It wouldn't have been that hard. But what was I supposed to do? It felt like I was suffocating. What am I supposed to do now? I can't go back. No. No. I have to go back. I need to show them. I need to show them what art can be. Good evening, all, and welcome to the centennial celebration of the Great Equalization. Our nation, our great nation, has truly lived out as an example to the world for what we can achieve as equals. Without superior intellectuals, we have been freed of academic pressures. Without athletes, we have been freed of competition. Without creativity, we have thrived with efficiency. Without individuality, we have united as one nation. Let's hear it for 100 years of equality. Who did this? Who did this? I did. How? 
dare you disgrace our nation? I did this so that everyone can witness my work, so that they might see the power of creativity, so that they might realize that their equality is ignorance. We were meant to do more, to be more. We should challenge one another. Wait for my signal. We were not meant to be nameless parts of a whole. We should thrive in our individuality. I stand here in the face of our government, out afraid to stare down the eyes of death so that the world can see that I was an individual. Fire! Nothing to